Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode here at Wildman Lifts. I'm your host, Wildman. Now, on today's episode, it's the last day of Chains Week, and man, am I sad about it. It's my favorite time to train. I mean, look at these things. I mean, doesn't that just sound cool? Anyways, today we're going to be doing the seated shoulder press where we're going to start from the bench. I've clicked it back, I think one click back from it being totally upright so that my shoulders are in a good healthy position. And we're going to be adding on the chains. Now I've been doing reps with everything else I've been doing this week, but we're going to be doing a one rep max with the chains today because I just want to see where I'm at strength wise at the top of the lift. Really what it's going to come down to is me finishing off the shoulders with the dumbbells and with the resistance bands as well once I'm done. That's going to be the main focus of the workout today. So we get to have fun with the chains today. This isn't like we're trying to work up to a specific rep scheme. And in between the seated shoulder press, I'm going to be doing some sled work as well for overall strongman strength. So let's pop in and let's get started. Now at this current moment in my training program, I'm not taking any supplements. I still take whey protein at the end of every weight training session and I eat a high protein diet and I make sure that I get all my fruits and veggies and everything else that comes with that. And that's all I'm doing right now. I used to take creatine and BCAAs. And the reason why I'm not doing that right now is for two reasons. Number one, I wanna see where my baseline is. And what that basically means is with my current size and my current frame of my body, I want to see how much weight I can push up just by going through the motions and training naturally. And the second thing is to see how far my muscle memory can go. There's two things I'm trying to look for right there. I'm trying to see where those two meet and see how high I can go in weight. And once I stop progressing and I'm plateauing, that's when I'll start introducing creatine and BCAAs back into my program again. And that's what I highly recommend for most people. For most people that are starting out and they're going up in weight every single session and their conditioning is going up every single session, then I highly recommend that you don't take any creatine or BCAAs yet. But I highly recommend those two supplements once you start to plateau. Once you're not achieving the same amount of weight and going up every single time, and your conditioning is starting to suffer as well, that's the time to start helping your body out and giving it some more fuel and the necessities it needs to perform at a higher level. Now, I was very excited about today's workout because if I could hit 230 pounds total on the chain's seated press, then I would be ecstatic. That's further along than what I thought I could do. But the fact is, I could actually do a lot more. And I also went up more on the sled. With my bicep having reattachment surgery, it's been very difficult just to pull the sled empty. So the fact that now I'm pulling 160 pounds both ways, and I'm able to press up more weight with the chains, I was very happy with that. And my top set for the day was gonna be 250 pounds total for one rep, and all of those sled pushes as well. So I was very ecstatic that everything went according to plan and actually above the plan. And my baseline is still going. So I will have to see on the next session if I'm gonna keep going up in weight or if I plateau. And that will be the decision maker for me if I'll start taking creatine and BCAs all over again. Now, as you can see, that 250 pounds total went up very nice and smooth and only got a little slow during the middle. And I really credit my shoulder strength going up to this movement right here, which is the dumbbell seated press. Ever since I started doing this, my overhead press just went through the roof. So I'm just starting off with the 35s and I'm gonna continue to do my sled work in between and really not change very much because I wanna be on even numbers by the time I'm done lifting at the very end of this workout. And the goal for today was to hit a 10 rep max with the 75s because if you recall from my last videos, I was able to hit 75s for six, and then I did it for eight, and then nine. So today I wanted to hit this for 10. And really, it's not the right arm that's having the problem, it's the left arm, the one that I had the surgery on. My left shoulder and my left bicep is completely unstable, so I've had to work that back up. So this is the ultimate test right here, because I used to be able to do three rounds, and it would be with the 75 pound 
dumbbells, and I would do it for 10 reps each. So I'm just trying to get back up there again. So I was very happy that that went today, and I can now maybe think about lifting heavier dumbbells in the future and maybe start with that six. And then after I was done with the variation giant set, I moved to my accessory giant sets where I did the side delt raise with that braided band. That's just to improve my shoulder stability a lot more. And I did face pulls as well, because you know if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know how much I love face pulls. Just to keep everything even and nicely fitted as I work out. And then I ended with some pull off press to hit those obliques. And that was the workout for the day. Well, that about does it on today's workout. I really appreciate everybody joining me and hopefully you learned something new and you're motivated to go out and to work out and to make a better version of yourself. Until next time, thank you.